Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Be Spice Agro Binary Company. And with you is the head of operations at our Debola reporting. I'm sorry I couldn't drop a video last week. This was due to the fact that we are on the site for an installation. We went, we traveled to do an installation for a particular client that came for our complete line extruder machine. Thank you so much, we appreciate that. A lot of people reached out to me like, ah, but, um, this part, you didn't drop any video this week. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'll, I'm, I'm going to drop something. Okay, I'm doing this quickly to make up for last week's uh, deficit. I'll be speaking on soya bean meal. Soya bean meal and full fat soya. The difference between these two, how you can use these two, especially as a fish farmer, how you can use this, these two eff effectively for the uh, normal growth and development of your fishes thank you so much and please follow up this video okay welcome again and um, i said we'll be speaking on um full fat soya and um soya bean meal the difference how you recognize the good one in the market like i earlier mentioned so let me start with the full fat soya the full fat soya is the one you buy in the open market right the one you see those uh, local women selling in the market that's the full fat soya so the full fat soya contains the fat and the soya bean it contains fat and soya bean why i don't really advise our uh, customers our uh, clients if you are consulting with us to buy to use this is because of the high energy in full fat soya it's really good for the people in the poultry sector people into bigri poultry it's good for them you know it has high energy content and sometimes you need this to boost the productivity and the growth of your livestock so the uh, good protein content of um, full fat soya is around 30 36 to 42 percent good protein that's relatively high yes for animal uh, for plant protein of such yeah it is high you know and also the fat content composition is about around 18 percent and 18 percent fat content of an ingredient for fish feed production is too much for a single for a single ingredient to have about 18 percent fat content is relatively too much to to consider in you in, in making fish feeds what i'm trying to say is that if a single free ingredient contains 18 percent fat it's not good for fish feed production so that is why i don't really advise so so I've asked so many people to call me, so many people have uh, sent an email to me asking that, okay, if I go to the market and um, I buy the already, um, what's it called, the one in the open market, I can roast them myself and I, I can still make my soya. I'm like, that is not it. Do you even understand the temperature you need to roast those ingredients? Do you do even uh, know the, the time the time lapse? To roast them because this is it you are dealing with a protein a protein and rich um, ingredient if the it is too much it will denature the protein the protein that you are even trying to give to your fish you have denatured it because you are trying to roast it yourself you might have roasted it at a very high temperature and by so doing you might not um, be giving your fish the normal protein you need to give to them because it has been denatured and also why i don't really advise people again is because it has an high energy. The fat there makes it have high energy, even more than maize. So imagine if you are using maize in your feed ingredient and you see using full fat. Do you know how high the energy of such feed is? And if you have high energy feed, your fish will not eat very well before they start. Uh, they, 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 they they are filled. So and basically they won't take the um, required protein from from such feed because normally there's what we call the protein to energy ratio of the feed. So when the energy is too much then they won't take the, uh, the necessary protein or the you know, the required protein that they need for their body development. Imagine you are, you, are, you are eating a particular feed that has high oil content, you know, probably palm oil or granite oil. You tend not to eat in, um, so much of, uh, of that kind of food uh, before you are, you are filled. So this is what the oil in full fat soya does to your fishes too. You understand so please let's look into this and uh, if you really want profitability in your business your fish farming business please look into this i'm not saying you can't use full fat soya you can use it but the percentage depletion should be very very low should be very very low because we have um, a very
very good uh, floating fish feeds if you are producing your fish by yourself. So full fasting are really good for people that are producing um, this local pellet, this local sinking pellet. So if you are if you want that, then you can use full fasting. But if you want to make floating fish feeds, it has a calculated amount that you need to include in your fish, in your fish feeds. But, okay, that's what I can really say about full fat soya. So let me talk about the soya bean meal, which is common, which we, I really recommend people to uh, make use of. So the soya bean meal is, as a result, is gotten as a result of the fatted oil. What, what I mean by the fatted oil is that removing of oil from the full fat soya. When you remove oil from the full fat soya, the remnant you get is what is called the soya bean meal. Some people also call it soya bean cake. You understand because it has the oil has been um, removed it has been defected it has been removed so this is when you have the soya bean meal yeah this is very good for fish it is very very good for fish among all the plant protein soya is, is still one of the best plant protein for fish so if you are doing uh, if, you are, if you are formulating your feet and you don't have soya in your feet then i don't know what animal you are formulating feed for because it has almost a complete good amino acid profile very lovely amino acid profile it does about 44 to 48 percent good protein the ones we grow in nigeria and some imported um soya bean meal has about 48 49 i've seen 49 before you know i try to make a um, what's it called nutrient analysis of my nutrient analysis of all the ingredients we use all the ingredients we sell we have the nutrient analysis for them we have the composition analysis we have all the analysis need so that we are sure that we are selling and um, what the people really want us to buy because i don't really i don't see any joy in selling what is not good for you and you're not making profit and well, I'm, i don't feel good with that that's why i take this extra pain to go through the normal process by doing my process analysis all the analysis i need to do before i sell out our food ingredients to anybody that wants to buy from us so um like i was um, like okay i think i said okay i could put in okay also um so yeah bimin has a very complete amino acid profile a very good complete amino acid profile which is very good for your fish very very good for your fish also one thing people don't understand let me quickly ship this in is that if you are buying the food fast soya the food fast soya and, and you now went to roast it there's something we have in soya bean that is called the anti-nutrient all of these ingredients has it but soya bean has high quantity of these things so that is why you you would have had about something called pre-heated or heated heat treatment soya bean meal heat treatment soya bean meal you understand because this is it to get soya bean meal you need to eat your full fat soya we have different eating methods we have different methods of removing oil from soya bean meal so using a uh, what's it called using um each treatment this is where you put the, them in probably a, a barrel a, an oven some people make use of a strudel you know expellers so you, you will have eat your full fat soya a bit at a particular temperature for a particular minute or probably seconds it all depends on which form of pre-eating methods you are using so why this why this is done is because to remove the anti-nutrients to remove those anti-nutrients anti-nutrients are compounds they are they are how am i going to put that they are substances that are present in soya or fufa soya that will not allow your fish to make use of of the of the nutrients you understand the, there are some particular compounds that are present in soya that will not make you your fish to make use of the um, the protein present in soya so why to avoid this that's why most of the um, commercial feed millers you know people that are into um people that are into production of soya bean meal try to do it treatment before ex um, expelling the oil to kill the anti-nutrient and also to remove the oil so that you can have soya bean meal uh, if you don't understand everything I'm explaining, you can send me a text message on. Uh, you can send me a WhatsApp message, an email of what you don't understand. I will definitely try and explain better because I think I'm going too, too, too deep into all this. But I think we may all need to understand this because these are the basics. These are the basics. It's not about just giving you formulation. It's not about just giving you formula. Understand the basics. If I give you formula, you might go and buy it. So you full fast instead of the soya beam, you have made a mistake. You know, all this, let us take it step 
by step you understand so soya bean meal is very good very good for your fish and um i can categorically say we use high amount of this in our fish feed production too so please let's look into this so how do you identify a very good soya bean meal and a not very good soya bean meal in the market yeah this is it i don't advise you as a fish farmer to buy something that is not branded I don't make soya bean. We buy from some suppliers too. They understand. So what I do is that I buy from a well-known source. I buy from a well-known source and branded soya. I will not advise you to buy unbranded soya. Buy branded soya bean meal. Branded. That has a company name. That if anything goes wrong, you can easily contact the company and tell them this is and this and this and this. But if you are buying unbranded. They just sell it into a, they will sell it, the soya bean into an unbranded bags for you, and because it's cheap, you don't really care. No, sometimes they mix all these things. How do you know? You can't even even know when you don't even know the original. Do you understand? If they we used to use half cut soya, it's one of the best soya, but I we can't find it in the market again. But if you can find that soya, that soya is still one of the best half cut soya bean. Very lovely brand, very lovely product. But for now, I can't really tell you a particular brand, but you should you also make that a uh, what's it called? Make that uh, take that extra pin to know and uh, to see which one is close to you, and probably make sure it's branded. So once it's branded, then you can easily contact them. If anything they go against anything they tend to provide, you understand? They tend to produce. So please let's look into all these things, and uh, I'm very sure by God's grace, by God's grace, we'll be a successful fish farmers at the end of it all. So this is my, this is our video on um, soya bean meal. Uh, I think we've explained a lot about this. I, I think we've explained a lot. But if you still have some on, if you still have some questions, or you think I've not covered enough of what you really want to know, send me a DM. Send me a WhatsApp message. Write our email. Somebody will be there to respond to you. If I don't respond immediately, somebody will be there to respond to you. Can. Thank you so much. And um, I hope that we drop another video very um, next week. We'll be discussing on another feed ingredient and what and what we need to know about this. Too. So before I leave, let me tell you again that soya bean meal is very good for the fish. Very, very good for the fish. And the inclusion rate sometimes it depends on the um, the growth rate, the growth stage of your fish. You know what three what a three month fish needs differs from what in one month fish need so just contact me and let me know the good stage of your fish then i can tell you what um, the percentage inclusion that you really need for all the stages thank you so much my name is Agba and i hope you'll be able to do justice to this as we've been doing and if you have any question please please don't hesitate to ask and please please share our video like our video subscribe to our youtube channel you understand let's see more let's gather more um don't enjoy these videos you know let's gather more people let's all be a partaker of this blessing you know i call it blessing because not everybody shares secrets like this but i'm here sharing it so thank you so much and uh, we look forward to seeing you again